Well, a tough ending to the Minnesota Twins season as they fall short tonight. 3-2 the final in the fourth game of this ALDS series with the Houston Astros at Target Field. When you look at the numbers, well, it was certainly another tough night for the Twins lineup. Double-digit strikeout totals, just three total hits. A couple runs on the board, fortunately, from couple rookie solo homers, but it just wasn't enough for Minnesota as they were unable to keep their season alive. Let's go downstairs where Rocco Baldelli is at the podium. Hi, Rocco. Uh, was, the, was one time through the plan for Joe all along, or were there some red flags in his couple of innings? No, it, the plan uh, for Joe was somewhere in that, somewhere in that general range. Um, uh, we had a full bullpen of good bullpen arms. Um, truthfully, uh, in, a, in an elimination game like we were in today, um, there, there's no need to ride your starter. You know, we wanted to get the best the best stuff out of Joe possible, which generally was going to be about one time through maybe. And uh, But, you know, there was a chance he was going to go a little longer. Um, but at some point, you just have to make a, a call as far as when that time is going to be. Uh, and we could get Brock Stewart into the game and, and get him going. So um, it's it's never set in stone. It's you know it's moving as as the game moves. Phil again, and you must feel like it worked, uh, right? I mean, one pitch from Caleb was pretty much uh, the bullpen did its job. Our pitchers did a night. They, they they did a good job tonight. They threw the ball well. Um, uh, we didn't score enough runs today. We, it was a low-scoring affair. Both both sides pitched very well. Um, I was very pleased with the way our guys competed out there on the mound uh, in general, um, made the plays behind them. Um, we got what we wanted, I think, out of the situation. And, um, you know, we're, we, you know, like any game, you're going to bank on your team scoring, scoring some runs and, and making some things happen. And they just they, – they, they did a good job. They attacked us well. Um, our, our kitty uh, changed speeds very well today and uh, kept us pretty pretty off balance uh, for his uh, duration, um, and that that was it. Uh, you know, any any playoff series they can, you know they they can end either way. You can win or lose them real quick. And uh, uh, you know, offensively, it didn't feel like we probably settled in and had the at bats that we had for most of the year, most of the second half at least. Um, but you have to give credit to the team on the other side of the field for being a good ball club and for pitching well. Go to Dan in the middle. Did did you like the approach there against Sir Kitty um, from the team, or how? Did, I think you guys struck out fourteen today, fourteen yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're a team that will strike out, so the strikeouts in and of themselves that, that's not necessarily um, the issue. You know, you'd like to put a few, few more balls in play on the barrel and uh, and see what happens. Excuse me. Um, but uh, he he did he changed speeds he he used the slower breaking ball he used the change up he did some different things he has he had more on his fastball today than I'm I think we were anticipating if if the numbers on the board are right which I think they are um, you know he he had some very good life on that pitch and the velo was also seemingly a little up as well um, he had a lot of things going today. Uh, he was, you know, obviously anyone watching the game could also see he, he, he enjoys kind of playing with the pitch clock and, um, you know, letting it time all the way down and just stepping up to the mound and pitching. It's actually you have to have good awareness and good athleticism and feel to be able to do that and still make good pitches. He made a lot of good pitches, at least from where I was sitting. Over here, back to Phil. The... Uh you sent uh, Royce in the sixth inning. He stole the base, and Max uh, was called out on a pitch that TV showed several times. Probably wasn't over the plate. Uh, how how much uh, did that uh, change things right there in the middle? Well, I mean, any any time you're playing in a low scoring affair, every base runner does matter, and every every situation does matter. We we didn't lose today because of. Uh, of a call or, or of two calls, I don't think. There have been other games I might tell you something different. Um, I don't think that was it. Uh, it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate when that happens. Um, no player wants to have the bat taken out of his hands, especially when there's a guy potentially, you know, now and then in scoring position. And, um, you know, the, the end, end, that inning just ending, uh, I mean, it's frustrating, but it's, there, there's, there was a lot more to the game 
than uh, than just that call. Anything else for Rocco? One more film. I know it's still fresh, but uh, how do you how would you sum up the season? How would you what do you look back on? Well, I mean, I, normally I don't talk about what we talk about in the clubhouse, but I, I just address the team. Um, I thought our players, I thought they got better through the year. And the team is hungry in a way that I don't think we probably even were before. You get a taste of something like this, you show this to people, what this looks like and what it is. Uh, you know, we're not that far from playing in the World Series. We're playing against the best teams in baseball right now, doing it, uh, <clears throat> a hell of a job going out there, competing against them and beating them. Uh, we didn't get it done in this series. We got beat. Um, but I couldn't be happier with what I saw from so many of our guys. And, and, and I told them that. And we had a team, we assembled a team this year that had a lot of baseball players on the team, guys that have a uh, really good feel. They love coming to the ballpark every day. They love to work. And when you have guys that love to work, um, you're capable of more when you have a group like that. And uh, I think that's what we did, and I hope we can continue to assemble really good clubs that, that play like that and that think about the game like that um, and have that type of awareness and, and things like that. I think, it was, I think it was a strength of ours and something that we talked about and we did, and we got some good results. We just have to keep getting better. I'd also like to say that the crowd, the fans, the fans, they were, I mean, it was... It was absolutely amazing being out there and uh, uh, having them behind us the way they were. And I think every guy in our dugout, they could probably sit here and talk for a while about it. And uh, I look forward to, to more of that. It was great. They got real excited about yeah, they got really excited from the first pitch to the last pitch. And they were with us and uh, tried to propel us to where we were going. And uh, um, that's what that's what you're looking for. That that's that's a hell of a fan base.